Hello students, let us study chemical reactions and equations today. You have already studied about physical and chemical change. Physical change is temporary and reversible, whereas chemical change is permanent and irreversible. Can we observe chemical reactions only in the chemistry lab? The answer is no. We can observe innumerable chemical reactions around us in our day-to-day -day life. For example, cooking food, baking a cake, ripening of fruit, respiration, digesting food, photosynthesis in green plants, burning of wood, rusting of metals and so on. How can we categorize these reactions? How are these reactions different from one another? All these things can be understood when we study the chemical reactions in detail. Let us understand different types of chemical reactions. Types of chemical reactions. First, combination reaction. Two reactants combine in a reaction to form a single product. Usually exothermic because bond formation releases energy. For example, 2Mg plus O2 gives 2MgO. CaO plus H2O gives CaOH twice plus heat. NH3 plus HCl gives NH4Cl. Second, displacement reaction. Reaction in which less reactive element ion is replaced by more reactive ion. It is also known as single displacement reaction. For example, Fe plus CuSO4 gives FeSO4 plus Cu. Fe is more reactive, hence it displaces Cu from its salt solution. Third, decomposition reaction. One reactant splits into two or more products. Thermal decomposition happens due to heat. Example, CaCO3 gives CaO plus CO2. C12H22O11 gives C12 plus H22. Electrolytic decomposition or electrolysis due to electricity. 2H2O gives 2H2 plus O2 in gas. Photolytic decomposition due to light. 2AgCl gives 2Ag plus Cl2. 2H2O2 gives 2H2O plus O2. Double displacement reaction. The reaction in which ions in the reactants are exchanged to form precipitate is called double displacement reaction. General equation. AB plus CD gives AD plus BC. A and C are cations, B and D are anions. Example, BASO4 plus K2CRO4 gives BACRO4 plus K2SO4. AGNO3 plus NaCl gives AGCl plus NaNO3. Fifth, endothermic reaction. The reaction that absorbs heat from the surroundings. Breaking of bonds requires energy. Hence, this reaction absorbs heat. Example, NH4Cl when dissolved in water, the test tube becomes cool. CaCO3 plus heat gives CaO plus CO2. 6. Exothermic reaction. Bonds are formed, hence heat is given out. NaOH flakes plus water. When flakes dissolves in water, heat is given out. Hence test tube becomes hot. Fe2O3 plus 2Al gives 2Fe Al2O3 plus heat. 7th Oxidation Reaction The reaction is known as oxidation when a reactant combines with oxygen. Example 2Mg plus O2 gives 2MgO. C plus O2 gives CO2. When the compound loses hydrogen, then also the reaction is called as oxidation reaction. MgH2 gives Mg plus H2. Magnesium hydride decomposes to form magnesium and hydrogen. Ethane loses hydrogen and forms ethane. CH3CH2OH gives CH3COOH, which is acetic acid. In this reaction, oxidation of ethyl alcohol takes place due to acidic K2Cr2O7. This means K2Cr2O7 is the source of O2 and it forms acetic acid. Similarly, we can use KMNO4, H2SO4, H2A2 as chemical oxidants. O3 is also a chemical oxidant.
When positive change on an ion increases or the negative charge decreases, then also the reaction is called as oxidation reaction. Example 2KMnO4 plus 10FeSO4 plus 8H2SO4 gives K2SO4 plus 2MnSO4 plus 5FeSO4 thrice plus 8H2O. Here charge of Fe increases from plus 2 to plus 3, hence it is an oxidation reaction.